Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 67. The noun phrase today is dumpster diving. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, the act, all right, so dumpster diving is really this, the act of jumping in or leaning into a dumpster uh, to recover any items that one could use, resell, or possibly even eat. Mm -hmm. Uh, the activity could be done by uh, people who are poor or possibly desperate, uh, yeah, or poor and desperate, uh, but is sometimes done by people to scavenge, you know, looking for things they could reuse and find items that could easily be fixed and resold. So you have it done both ways. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of examples here. Um, example number one. Uh, after Hurricane Sandy in 2012, some people went dumpster diving uh, after supermarkets had to discard food that may have spoiled due to the blackout. Yeah, I remember seeing this on the news. Uh, you know, and these might not have even been that um, people that are really that poor. Um, it's just that they didn't have a lot of food stored up in their house. And a lot of the supermarkets, like the supply chain, got messed up because they couldn't be stored. So people were desperate, and they were actually going into dumpsters looking for food that, you know, could be eaten, take some chances. Uh, so even though the uh, supermarket got rid of it, you know, uh, because they f were afraid it was spoiled, but some people still jumped in and tried to get it, and I guess something is better than nothing. Okay, let's look at number two here. Uh, Jack often goes dumpster diving in upscale uh, housing complexes. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you know, obviously upscale places, you know, uh, rich people have nicer garbage than poor people or middle class people. They're more willing to throw away things that, you know, others would probably not throw away. Uh, you know, they might still be pretty decent. And they might just get rid of it because maybe they're just tired and bored with it. So uh, if you're going to go dumpster diving for that reason, a lot of those people often like to do it in upscale neighborhoods. I've also heard, too, uh, somebody who does this, sometimes they like to do it in uh, like around universities, too. Because a lot of students, when they're leaving, they don't want to take a lot of the stuff back with them. Sometimes they throw away some pretty good stuff. So that could be resold and made money from. So there are some people out there that do this, that make kind of a living or a lot of extra income from doing things like this. All right, so upsell uh, housing complexes to look for items that could be resold or fixed easily. Yes, so this is another way to make some extra income. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.